What's up guys, Black Wolves, and welcome back to another video, and today we're back on Pro Cycle Major 2020 for yet another classic, and today we're heading to Italy for the opener of the Italian season with the Trofeo Legaglia, uh, which is taking place right now, there's 13 kilometers remaining as I'm, uh, as I'm talking to you, um, but we have a start list, we have the profile, and uh, well, let's try to have fun. Quite a massive start list with teams uh, I haven't really seen this year or teams i'm not gonna have a lot of opportunities to take um this season but um i've made my decision and i believe i'm gonna go with eolo cometa led by francesco gavazzi uh, but they also have martin dina who could go over the hills um so it's gonna be quite interesting to see how everything pans out for uh, the um the eolo team who got their first wild card to a grand tour i believe this year um they also have an incredible kit so I figured it would be a great decision to take them ahead of the Giro di Legiglia. All right, we're on the way for uh, the Trofeo Legiglia, the opener, as I said, of the Italian classic season. Um, I have the actual race in the background, as I was saying, uh, and it's absolutely mental. But when I'm seeing the like the, the riders uh, currently in the final, I'm quite scared that I'm never going to make it with my guys uh, because we've got Molema, we've got Bernal, Clément Champoussin. Uh, and I think Mikel Landa, but probably Chicone or Nibali, I don't know, one of the two tracks. Uh, and they're going at it, and it's incredible to watch. It really is. So if you haven't seen the uh, Legiglia today, then honestly, go ahead and, and do watch it, because this is incredible. Like, I'm having, I'm quite sad that I'm having to watch away so that I can record. And that's very rare. Um, but yeah. We've got a plus one with Gavazzi, which is very good. We also have a plus two with Martandina, which is even better. That means the two riders I had a shot at uh, taking the win with, or at least I think about winning with, well, they might be able to do so. All right, take a quick uh, look at the breakaway. We have Colombo for, I think that's work service. Is Rebellin here? Uh, Davide Rebellin. He is. He is. He's got shit stats though. I mean, he is 48, so what did I expect? Uh, Garosio, uh, Thomas Champion, sorry. Kuzmin, Justre, Tortomasi, uh, Alexandre Lettre, Mathias Nosgaard, uh, Hail Michael, Filutas? Is that champion of Hungary? Okay. Uh, Mark Christian, Roqueta, and Taliani. Some gaps were made during the, um, the climb of Testico, uh, but most of the peloton came back. Uh, I mean, half of it came back. The good thing is, all of my riders are in this half. Biniam Germe has been dropped for Delco. I'm pretty sure he's in the one of the first groups in real life. Um, we also have the likes of Nicola Conchi, Anthony Perez, for Cofidis, uh, Delio Fernandez. Some decent riders that have been dropped. Uh, I do expect them to come back because we have about 10 to 12 kilometers of flat terrain until uh, the next climb, until we start the circuit with Nicola Micheri. Uh, breakaway wise, we're still a minute in the lead. Mark Christian is still in the first group. I haven't used any of my energy. Uh, so I am in a tip top condition if anything was to happen at the front. Um, and well, yeah, we've got Mark Ivan Sevenon trying something at the front of the peloton with James Knox. They are the two leaders in. Um, wait, who's the leader? Oh, is it Ballerini? Ah, fair enough. Okay. Uh, because they are actually the two main guys for the Konak on the uh, real Trofeo Leglia. Okay, uh, I'm just going to increase my rhythm with Gavazzi and Martondina, and uh, we'll see what that leads us. Well, it led us to having no breakaway anymore. Mark Christian is still pacing at the front of the peloton this, uh, this time, uh, but he doesn't have a gap. Gavazzi, though, is soon to have a gap maybe with the peloton if he doesn't manage to uh, get the, uh, the, the first group. Martondina, in a bit of a tough situation right now, you need to make it, lads. You need to make it, you need to make it. Come on, make the first group. My guy, Mark Christian can go ahead and protect Martin Dina right now. If I don't have anyone in first group uh, able to protect Dina, at least I'll have Mark Christian. Second climb, come on. Uh, I'm actually not convinced it's the same one all the time. It looks like it is. All right, weird. I can't remember. Um, 30k to go. Martin Dina still protected by Mark Christian. Acceleration from Jakubo Moska. You've got Mikel Landa already here. Christian Rodriguez. Some very decent names already at the front of this uh, Trofeo Legiglia. Gavazzi a couple of meters down. Martin Dina is going to make it one more climb. Come on, son. Nice one. I had managed to uh, bring back Gavazzi in the first group. Um, sadly, he, uh, he just used too much energy. 
and he is now gone. Uh, I'm afraid that uh, Martondina is not going to be able to hold on much longer in this group. I mean, he probably will be able to hold on, but I think he might get dropped by a few guys attacking up front. Uh, maybe an attack, I don't know, is that Baukumolema? It is. It is indeed Baukumolema, just like in real life. He's attacked, okay. Uh, I'm gonna pace. I'm gonna let De Conan and Ineos work, because they have by far the most amount of riders. Um, so yeah, do your work. Martondina in a decent position right now. Where's my sprinting bit? I'm 66. Yeah, that's six. That's, that, that, that's not good. Um, I've got Mark Christian telling me, uh, oh, in, uh, in the mission to get water, which is good. All right, one more here. We're going to come back on Baukumolama sooner than later. Mark Christian is going to come back on Martondina very soon. Just give me water. Just give me water, lad. Come on. Mark. Pedals. My G. Stonks. Okay. Martandina at the front of the group as Mikel Landa goes for a move. Mark Christian cannot do anything anymore. 10k to go. Mikel Landa is now doing the job. Matej Mohoric is well placed. Ballerini is well placed. We're going to be blocked. We're going to be blocked by Jakubo Mosca, which really sucks. Let's try to go 99. I'd like to catch the wheel of these guys. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do so. We're going to follow Matej Mohoric. Uh, Landa is now in the first group. Ballerini is in the first group. What a performance by Davide Ballerini once again. All right. Uh, I'm counting on Baron Victorious to try and bring us back. I'm also hoping that these guys do not relay with Ballerini who attacks. Oh. That's not something I'd expected. I hadn't seen an attack from Ballerini. Okay, well they're gonna win. That that when I was safe to say that. Uh, actually, Kudkowski came back on Ballerini. Come on, stop pacing, lads. Come on, come on, come on. Seventeen k, and there's an attack again. Michal Kudkowski this time going for a move. Lads, you're just leading Ballerini towards the win. Are you aware of what you're doing? I don't think that they are. 2.8k to go. 13 seconds for the group. Vendrame seems dead. I can't take his wheel. We're going to try and have the advantage of the downhill portion. It's a really early launch for Martondina. We're going to come back on Kutkowski. But Ballerini will have the legs to defeat the uh, Hungarian and takes the win today in Legiglia. Martondina in second place with Matej Mohoric in third. Kutkowski and Visconti to run out the top five. I will... Happily take second place today with Eolo Cometa. Ah, uh, if only Balewini hadn't been that strong. If only Balewini hadn't been that strong. But you know what? It was a very fun race. It's a short video, that's for sure. Uh, because it's only like 150k, 180k, but not much happened at the first, at the beginning. But I'll happily take second. Balerini proves that Dukonak is in a very decent shape at the strong of the beginning of this year, sorry, um, with wins in Provence. Uh, I think he's won something recently as well. I swear he's won something. I know Bajoli has won something. Uh, I think it was like Ardèche or Drôme, one of the two. Um, but Martondina taking second place today. A very decent performance when you take a look at the field around him. Uh, you got Mohoric, you got Michal Kaskowski, Bauke Molema, Nero Quintana. Thibaut Pinot, who got dropped. Mikel Landa, who lost a minute and a half with, with Egan Bernal. Um, I'm quite confused knowing that they were in the first group uh, at, in the downhill portion. Maybe there was an incident for the two riders, which would have also explained why Barin stopped uh, working, although their entire team is at the front. They did have uh, Sonim Colbrelli. Good idea on mine not to take the wheel of Vendrame because he finished 13th. No, I mean, second place. Is genuinely honest. I, I, I believe it's an honest finish. And um, I mean, Bauke Molomo is going to win in real life. By the looks of it, uh, I think it, there's like 500 meters left in this stage. Uh, and there's less than 500 meters left in this video, uh, which I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content in the coming days, then feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the very near future. But my name has been Black Orb. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one. Arrivederci. Pull up, pull up in the cold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop him out with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.